Hello and welcome to Botanists in Paradise. I'm Nolan and I'm at Fish Lake National Forest in central Utah. Today I'd like to introduce you to my friend Pando the Aspen. Pando is not just one of these trees, but all of these trees, and about 40,000 more nearby. Pando is an ancient clonal superorganism that's a record setter in a few categories. Pando is thought to be the heaviest organism on Earth at an estimated 7,000 tons, and also the second largest organism on Earth, second only to the honey fungus in Oregon. Some scientists have argued that Pando could be the oldest organism on the planet, although the geologic evidence is controversial. What is known is that Pando has been here for at least 16,000 years since the last glacial maximum. Sadly, Pando is dying, as are many aspens in, the, uh, in western North America. Individual aspen trunks live between 100 and 130 years on average, and many of Pando's trunks are approaching that age. Pando is having trouble reproducing, both sexually and clonally. Humans have removed all the predators from the landscape here, causing an explosion in the mule deer population. And new aspen shoots are one of their favorite snacks. So they're grazing the new aspen shoots at a rate faster than Pando can produce them. In order for sexual reproduction to occur, aspens require both a disturbance on the landscape such as wildfire and an unusually wet year, both of which are becoming less common. Years of human fire suppression have given the advantage to conifers, which can overtake aspen forests uh, when there's no disturbance. And as we all know, the planet is getting hotter and drier, and those unusually wet years are becoming fewer and further between. The good news, however, is that uh, aspens are thriving and expanding on the northeastern edge of their range in northeastern North America and Canada. So I'll be sad to see them go here in western North America, but happy to know that they have a good shot at surviving in our changing climate. So part of the reason that the mule deer like aspens so much is because of the medicinal properties of the bark. Aspens are in the family Salicaceae, the same family as willows. And some of you might know already that willows were the original source of the drug aspirin. Well, aspens also contain aspirin, as well as a variety of other potentially medicinal compounds. First Nations people used aspirin bark extracts to treat a wide range of ailments. And later on, European colonists used it to treat malaria, although the effectiveness of this is highly unproven. 